Hi, friends. Reverend Silly wrote the bulletin this week, and we recognize that many of you are thinking about Father Jim's ordination as a priest, as well as we are 50 years ago uh, this coming Friday, where he prostrated himself on the floor of the chapel in the shape of a cross as a sign of offering his whole life to God. We never know when we lay ourselves down in this posture of surrender, as Father Jim did, what the years of priesthood would have in store for us and bring. None of us who are priests can anticipate the wild joys, the deep sorrows that we witness as we accompany the people in our care or try to live out the gospel and follow God as best we can. As we send our love to Father Jim, we hope that his day will be filled with countless fond memories for him to savor, of tender and happy surprises that he has experienced over these years in parish ministry. And on that Feast of St. Francis, five decades ago, I'm sure that he did not anticipate that 50 years later, this anniversary day would dawn in the way that it has. As his community, we feel a sense of sadness that we who love him couldn't shower him with festivities on this day that he so well deserves. However, we believe that Father Jim's secretly quiet soul does not seek out parties and fanfare. And as much as we believe that next year, this October 4th day, will find him in much better health and spirits. This year, the day carries its own power. After all, when a priest enters the priesthood, we, we enter it not in anticipation of the special days, but rather with the knowing, especially uh, folks like Father Jim, myself, and Reverend Seeley, who experience the calling to celebrate daily Mass that every day is sacred, even perhaps especially the hard ones. For even they become windows to the presence of the Lord. Because priesthood is not ultimately about functions that we do. It is about who we are, even when we are nowhere near an altar table or a pulpit. Even when our days consist mostly of prayer, and joining St. Paul in the awareness that Christ makes us strong in our weakness. And so we send our love to Father Jim, and Reverend Seely offers this beautiful uh, verse from Psalms. And it says, The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. How beautiful. In other news, friends, we invite you to Please join us for our Mental Health Center liturgies this coming weekend, October 5th and 6th, with our director, Amy Durkee, preaching. And we invite you to save the date for our river walk following the 930 Mass on October 20th. You'll find more details about that, uh, how to register um, in the other section of the bulletin this week. Also, as many of you know, October 24th marks Jim Rammerman's retirement from the Thursday night mass. Please join us to hear Jim preach that evening and to celebrate his and his ministry team's many wonderful years of music ministry on Thursday nights. We'll miss you, Jim, and we're so grateful for you and your team for providing such incredible music for our parish for 39 years. This week, we also bid farewell to Elaine West, who is also retiring from the Spiritus Christi office. We'll miss Elaine so deeply, but we're so grateful that we will see her, continue to see her in the pews, and that she'll always be part of our Spiritus family. Finally, we have one more Save the Date. We'll be hosting an interfaith service in honor of the Children's Sabbath on the afternoon of Sunday, October 27th at 4 p.m. at Spiritus. So I hope that you'll join us as we continue our commitment to center children in the life of our church and our city. We have a need this week. There's a parishioner in need of a car. 
So if you have a used car that you can donate, please contact me, Reverend Myra, in the office at 325-1180. This area code is 585. And we send our condolences this week to the Liotti family on the death of Anne Liotti. Our hearts are with you. Our prayers are with you. And so we just send our love to you. Well, friends, that's all we have for our pastor's update. Thank you so much for being with me, and I will see you next week. Take care.